over there. So when were you gonna tell me he's a fucking Wavi? Not now, Finn. North of the wall is a bad place to be when you're injured. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. You can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, alright? It's abandoned. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Ha! Huh. How bad is it? I might have something that'll help. Just hurry up! <laughs> One of the options is to poke it. What the? They can't. No. That's just for, for fun, right? I mean, it's not fun for him, but that's a joke, right? They can't help anything to poke at a freaking wound. That's the opposite of what you should do. <laughs> I almost want to do it, just to see what happens. No, I'm just going to apply the herbal poultice, which I apparently have. I don't know when he got it, but... Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ugh, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Wait, I can still poke the wound even though he's covering it up? What? That better show up in like a summary so at the end tight. of the game. Like at the end of the game when it shows your decisions, you know, 50% of players chose this and 50% of players chose that. There better be a meter at the end for what percent of players chose to, to poke at his wound. I really want to know. I'm guessing, you know, I'm guessing a majority of people actually did it just to be assholes. It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, maester. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north, and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Could make a fire and melt some snow, maybe? One second. Okay. Still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would he bring us here? Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. It's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. It does come to mind that he knows his territory and we don't, and he's reading the map and telling us that we're going the right way, but we might not be. We really wouldn't have any way of knowing, right? Maybe he's being selfish and he's completely ignoring the North Grove and he's just going to his... his people or something. I don't know. It's possible. But he has been trustworthy so far. See if anything's been left behind in here. Someone's still living here. Wait, so this place isn't abandoned. And that symbol. That symbol was carved on the tree a while ago, right? 
Is that the symbol of like a particular group of wildlings? Strange. Guess there's not much to do up here. Well, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. Won't take long. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Want to kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... She's just a kid. Garrett! Finn! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. You brought crows here. And who the fuck are you? You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Well, there we go. We can trust him. Now we've got even more help. I love these, like, hand-painted scenes. This game, and honestly, it looks a lot better in the hand-painted scenes than it does in the 3D ones. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. Am I in danger here? My father honors guest right, just as you do. And I'm supposed to trust my life to that? I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know um, how difficult that yeah. must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. Don't patronize me, Gwyn. I'm not. I'm warning you. Tread carefully today. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, oh of course, wasn't born yet. Worked for Roose Bolton. That's not exactly something you want in your resume. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Is that your mother? Yes. 
though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? <laughs> he used to, when my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. We'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. There's really no point in being ready to fight, because we didn't take the soldiers with us. There's... Yeah, we just... <laughs> we are so completely overwhelmed. There's no way we can possibly hope to win in any sort of a fight. We have to play cool. And... Win with words, basically. There better be some damn good words. At least the food looks good. Of course, I don't think I'd feel much like eating at a time like this. Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. He's just testing us. I'm sure of it. I don't understand why you'd serve somebody bread and then a big, massive bowl of salt. Shouldn't you put the salt inside of the bread and then you, then you don't need the bowl of salt? Like, that's a lot of salt. If you ate all that salt, I'm pretty sure you'd throw up and maybe die. I mean, the amount of salt that goes into a loaf of bread is, like, maybe a teaspoon? That's a lot of salt. That's like a cup. It's crazy. Anyway, how's it going, Duncan? What's Lord Whitehill planning? He said he wanted a truce. And I believed it. I hope I wasn't a fool. Remember what I said. No fear. Right. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. That cutlery could double as a weapon if I had to use it. But again, if it gets to that point, we're pretty much dead. Alright, should I go up? Can I go up? That's far enough! I just have a seat? And wait? Can't think of what else to do. I can try to open the side door, but aren't we supposed to wait here? Mother, look at this. This ironwood's crack. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you?
Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm <laughs> nothing like Walder Frey. And unlike Stark, you don't even have bodyguards. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is. Compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? No. To justice. <laughs> to justice, then. Now, as lovely as this is, I presume we have business to discuss. Indeed we do. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet... You know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. Need I remind you, you kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to Will the you? torch! This isn't the way Let to get what you want. Let me slaughtering your small folk! Maybe he'll even make you watch. Funny you should mention Griff. Have you heard from him lately? What are you getting at? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! Roderick, how could you? Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff, for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. the boy Ryan What why do I have a feeling he's about Mother. to kill Ryan? Roderick, you came just like you said with that you sharp were thing he was just playing with? No, Father, no. What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine? Let him go. He's not going anywhere. Listen to her. Let him go or I'll have Griff. This is killed. not what we agreed. I'm him. Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Come on! I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest has never I'm learned. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. Kill me, right. and we all die! Roderick, do Let's something! Let me go! Everyone, please! No. I'll kill you myself! Roderick, help him! I'm calling go him. Go on, then! Do it! What? You think I want? I know you want. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. 
whitey. Still a whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. Uh. <clears throat> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. <laughs> if those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. We'll need to take those two out first. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. I don't think it's nothing. Oh, damn, I thought I clicked it. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? You just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. Not unless she's a fool. Mirin is not Astapor, or Yunkai. But unsullied are unsullied. You're not afraid, are you? Of unshackled slaves? No. Of dragons? No. We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? Uh, did the guy on the left just like teleport into the ground? He just like sunk. <laughs> um. Let's use the crossbow. Oh, he just crouched. We'll stay on the ground. You take the wall.
take care of him first. Come on, quickly, quickly. I think he got the easy job. Man, Croft is really agile. Look at him go. It's like a ninja cat in the night. Okay, maybe he's not very agile. The on the roof. We'll take care of it. Like a drunk ninja cat in the night. I'll get rid of them. Go ahead and close that. Make sure nobody sees. Down there? Ooh. Hey! They're still up there. On the right. Take them out, and you'll be clear to secure the beacon. They break through. I'll keep them busy. We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. Me, you, Croft. All stick of us. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Don't you trust me? We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. See, I told you we shouldn't have stuck to the plan, damn it! Don't. 
Fuck. Damn, good aim. Did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? It's starting. At High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. I knew Lud would never sacrifice his son. A whitetail is a whitetail, just like a forester is a forester. You made your family proud today. My lord, look! Where are the gods? Hmm? Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where are the Glenmores? Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm oh, sorry, fuck, I, is that who I think it is? I should have laughed. Oh, maybe you think you can do better. Of course, Ramsey Snow. I, I didn't mean to offend you. Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I won't. I want you to sing. Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Greetings, Lord Ramsay. Welcome to Ironrath. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together, haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... Lovely. And you? I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. That's the end of the episode, isn't it? <gasps> ah! Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. 
The North Grove isn't what you think it is. You claim to be a leader, yet your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't cell swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrid. Shh! Alright, let's see what we got. Me and 90% of people brought Finn along. Okay. 41.1% showed mercy to Griff. Now, what counts as showing mercy? Did I actually have an option to kill him, or does that just mean that I didn't continue to punch him? Because I know I could have kept punching him. I punched him twice, and then I backed out of it. So yeah, I don't know if I actually could have killed him. So showing mercy might just mean that I didn't completely beat the shit out of him. <laughs> wow, me and 85% of players kept Sarah's secret from Lord Tarwick. Yeah, that was a hard one. And I, I still don't know what's going to happen from that, but I don't think it's going to be good. Hmm. Me and 71% of people ordered the Glenmore soldiers to remain at Ironrath. I thought that would have been more of an even split. Because I was pretty split on on which one I wanted. Huh. Me and 33% of players killed a Slave Master. That's... That's pretty much exactly, f like, evenly spread, isn't it? Because weren't there three options? Either um, help Croft, help Beska, or kill the Slave Master? So I, I think that's, like, a pretty much a perfectly even split. Wait, there's no more? That's it? You're telling me there's no percentage for how... Ugh, I want another percentage of players that poked at the guy's wound. That's really not in there. I'm so disappointed right now. <sighs> well... In the Game of Thrones... Some people win... And some people don't get to know the percentage of players that poked at the guy's wound. That's just the world we live in. Alright, well, just a quick summary. I think that was a really strong episode. I think definitely one of the strongest so far. My interest, or not, not my interest, but my engagement in the Game of Thrones game series so far has been kind of up and down and up and down. Sometimes it's not very engaging and other times it is, and this episode I think was really engaging. It was all over the place with just... It kept switching between characters really, really fast. Uh, but it really worked. Everything pulled together and everything was kind of... Going towards a, kind of a single thing. You know, everybody's working on saving the Foresters, or trying to hurt the Foresters, or going north of the Wall, which again is also related to the Foresters. So everything's really focused on the Foresters. And everything played into that really well. And yeah, even though it went all over the place to different characters, I, I totally followed everything that was happening, and it, it just really worked. So I think this was a really good episode. Of course, it's still filled with those uh, those typical Telltale game kind of weirdness and, and bugs that it seems like Telltale games have had ever really since forever. Ever since The Walking Dead, it was even in The Wolf Among Us. Uh, it's even in Game of Thrones, where... Like, sometimes it, the game just looks kind of hideous, and there's all sorts of weird, like, animations popping in and out, and people sometimes teleporting and stuff, and I don't know, it's, it's, it always comes across as kind of janky. So, it's still got that, but I think this is one of the strongest episodes by far. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through Game of Thrones Episode 4, and of course, as soon as the next episode comes out, I will be back to play it.